What is of utmost importance for us to note is one of the ways of achieving Jannah and Paradise is to develop your consciousness of Allah. It is known as Taqwa. Taqwa. Take a look at a beautiful hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam where he was asked by the companions, O Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, what are the deeds that if I were to do them, I would achieve Paradise? Or what are the deeds that the people who entered Paradise have engaged in? What are their qualities? They entered Jannah. What are their qualities? He made mention of two things, just two things. What are they? He says, Taqwa Allahi wa husnul khuluqi. Allahu Akbar. My brothers and sisters, he says, the consciousness of Allah and great character and conduct. Those are the two things that will take you to paradise. Think very carefully of what I've just said. Great character and conduct can actually make you get a rank of a friend of Allah, according to one of the narrations. The Prophet ﷺ says, a person can achieve the high ranks in the eyes of Allah through good character and conduct. And also a narration makes mention of how when a person's character and conduct is not good, it is a sign of their loose connection with Allah. They don't have a strong connection with Allah. They don't respect the other creatures whom the same Allah has created. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. So a sign of your piety is your character, your conduct, exemplary, absolutely beautiful. You work hard on developing it. The same narration says, O oh messenger, tell us about the people of the fire. What are the characters? Characteristics of theirs. He says two things would land them in Jahannam Al Famu Wal Farju. Astaghfirullah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. He says two things the tongue and the private parts. And this is why, in another narration, he says to his companions, Any one of you who guarantees me the correct use of that which lies between the cheeks, meaning the tongue. And that which lies between the thighs, meaning the private parts, I guarantee him a place in Jannah. Think of it carefully. It means it has to be a serious matter. Immorality is something that can lead you to Jahannam. And at the same time, your tongue is something that can lead you to Jahannam. This is why Allah says regarding the tongue, who can be better than the one who calls towards Allah using that tongue? Who can be better in speech? Qawlan means use of the tongue. Who can use the tongue in a better way than he who calls towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But on top of that, he does good deeds himself and he considers himself from amongst the Muslims, from amongst this large group known as Muslims. The minute you say, I'm a Muslim, and you have used your tongue in the correct way and at the same time you have done good deeds you can be rest assured that before you die the angels will come to inform you of a good place in jannah that's according to this beautiful verse of surah al zumar may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us jannah al firdaus where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly says that the angels will descend upon such people prior to their death just before their death to give them good news. Don't worry. Don't panic. What's about to happen to you? Don't worry. You are going to a beautiful place there. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. So my brothers and sisters, the use of the tongue can either make you a person from those who will enter heaven or make you a person from those who will enter hellfire.